Hello, my name is Robert Pascal, and I'm your instructor for basic airbrush technique. All an airbrush is, is a very small, precise spray gun. And this is what an airbrush is right here. This is a dual action internal mix airbrush. And it sprays paint onto the surface of your work in very small, precise dot patterns. Let me show you. When you spray the paint through the airbrush and around a stencil, you automatically pick up the image that you're painting. And it's real easy to do. There are several different types of airbrushes on the market today, and Badger makes a whole array of them. This one is an internal mix dual action airbrush. It's gravity fed. The paint goes into the top of the airbrush, into this little color cup. Internal mix means that the air and paint come together inside the tip. The air thoroughly atomizes the paint, and when it sprays it out onto the surface of your work, it does it in these very soft dots. Internal mix airbrushes are the ones that are used for most professional applications, illustration, automotive painting, wherever you want a soft, sensual look. This is a dual action airbrush. Dual action, action refers to the triggering. The trigger is this little button at the top. The dual actions in this airbrush is when you press down, air comes out, and when you pull back on the trigger, see how that little trigger slides back? Paint comes out. The further you pull back on that trigger, the more paint comes out. Let me show you. Down for air, back for paint. You can spray a little bit of paint or a lot of paint, sometimes too much. Now this is the Badger Model 100 LG, large gravity feed, dual action, internal mix airbrush. Now there's various internal mix airbrushes that Badger makes. The gravity feed, and you can just hear my compressor come on, you have to have air with an airbrush, otherwise they would call it a hairbrush. All right. There are various types of uh, dual action internal mix airbrushes. The 100LG that I just used, the 150 model. This is the 150, it's dual action, trigger comes back, down for air, back for paint. Only with this airbrush, it's bottom fed. Rather than putting paint into the top, it goes into a jar, and the jar attaches to the bottom of the airbrush. This is the type of airbrush that someone would use if they were doing t-shirt painting or industrial work or working large on canvas with acrylics and fine arts, where you would mix up an array of colors in your color jars and then plug them into the airbrush, have one with your cleaner, clean out between color changes, right, and, uh, and paint. Another type of internal mix airbrush is the Badger Model 200. This is a single action internal mix airbrush. Still, the air and paint come together inside the head assembly, thoroughly atomizes the paint, right? sprays it out in a soft dot pattern. But when you trigger it, you just simply press down on the trigger and a set amount of paint comes out. You can adjust for more or less paint from back here with a needle adjusting screw. As I unscrew this, it would allow more paint to come out. As I crank it down, it allows less paint to come out. The controllability that you have with an airbrush is simply how much paint's coming out and how close you are to the surface of the work. If you're real close to the surface of the work and you have very little paint coming out, you get a nice fine line. If you're real close to the surface of the work and you have a lot of paint coming out, you'll have a mistake. So when you learn how to use the airbrush, you learn how far away from the surface of the work to hold it. Let me show you how this sprays. You always sort of wrap the hose around your, your hand, press down on the trigger for air, and open up the needle chuck screw, the adjustment screw in the back, and spray your paint. If you want a lot of paint to come out, you can open up the back of the brush and spray a lot of paint. If you want a little bit of paint to come out, you can crank it down and do a real fine line. This is internal mix, single action. Air and paint come together inside the tip, thoroughly atomized, press down the trigger, set amount of paint comes out. The next type of brush is the external mix airbrush. The external mix airbrush is a different type of brush than the internal. The air and paint mixes together rather than inside the head assembly, mixes together outside the tip. The air and paint come together out there. It is also a single action brush, so when you press down on the trigger, a set amount of paint comes out. And the paint is adjusted from up front here with the fluid tip. As I open up this tip, more paint will come out. As I crank this tip down, less paint come out. It's a 350 model, Badger 350. 
All right, let me show you how this works. I press down on the trigger and it sprays. As I open up the tip, more paint will come out until so you have a lot of paint coming out. This brush is normally used for spraying high viscosity materials, um, spraying acrylics on canvas, doing background work, industrial work. It sprays uh, materials of a larger thickness, of a heavier consistency, and is less expensive than the internal mix brushes. Now, a special brush that Badger manufactures is the Crescendo. This is a real neat brush. This was designed for artists and craftspersons and for t-shirt painters, someone who does a lot of airbrushing. It's a good size brush. It is dual action and it is internal mix. Has some neat uh, features to it, like the snap off handle. You can snap off a handle. A lot of t-shirt painters would want to work where they can reach the handle of, or the, the needle of the airbrush, pull it out for quick cleaning and this has a snap off handle. Has a nice grip on the trigger. So for a person who's using the airbrush a lot, it has a good grip so you get a nice draw on the trigger. The head assemblies, they're hand tight so you can unscrew them with your fingers without using a wrench and easy to replace. Right? Dual action, internal mix, nice soft spray. You always get a softer spray with an internal mix airbrush than you do with an external mix airbrush. And it's real handy for the artist to use. So there you have an array of brushes, external mix airbrushes, internal mix airbrushes, dual action airbrushes, some that are gravity fed, others that are bottom fed. Right? You have to take the airbrushes, you have to hook them up to an air source, right? you load them with paint, and then you spray with them. And we'll be addressing that next. <laughs>